reason for making the puppy recall so simple and enjoyable um, is to do with the way the dog remembers things. Part of his brain, called the amygdala, is where uh, memories and emotions are stored. And if we can lay down the foundations that coming back is pleasant, um, many years in the future that will be their overriding emotion regarded uh, or regards coming back to you. So rather than coming back to you be a chore where they go on the lead and take it in or um, are smacked for running off in the first place or just ignored, if we can lay down the roots or the foundations of the recall where uh, before it becomes a command, lay down the foundations so we stimulate the amygdala um, to, to make it So we lay down the foundations um, so that coming back is always positive, at least in the dog's mind. Coming back is a positive thing. And if we couple that with muscle memory of a fast recall, um, the brain will do all our work for us. We'll, we'll give the dog the sound, its brain will hear it, positive emotions um, will come to the front of its mind, um, muscle memory will be a fast recall, uh, and then forever we'll have a fast, comfortable recall um, despite the circumstances. So that's why I feel it's very important uh, to get the foundations of the puppy recall as pleasant as you can and get it in as early as you possibly can. So we're going to look at um, puppy recalls, um, the way I do it. When the puppies are just starting to be weaned um, and eager for their food, um, I make a sound to encourage them to know that it's dinner time sound I use is bup, 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 bup. and if you notice then when I said it all three pups were familiar with that sound and look to me so as they're getting used to the sound of um, pup, 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 um, to be associated with food get them in the habit of taking treats from me by a gradual process till eventually um, they start to anticipating if I speak and use that sound um, they come towards me for something pleasant um, often they hang around as you can see here in the anticipation of getting something pleasant so I'll just um, keep on walking until they wander off a little bit and then I will go through the routine which will be a a sharp sound which will be pup which eventually will translate into their individual name followed by pup 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 which will eventually translate into that'll do or the whistle which will be peep 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 so it's all kind of linked together so hopefully I'll let these get a little bit further on and I'll um, just go through the routine Nice if you actually run off, kids. Perhaps if we go back, we might start running down the hill a little bit. No, this will do. Pups! Pup, 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 pup! Pup, 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 pup! Oh, oh. Yeah. And that is it. No distraction, puppy recall. They come eager and happy, they get their reward, and then they're released to go on about their walk again. And just repeat this a few times over the over the walk and eventually you say um, the sound and they'll start coming back and then you can start substituting the commands the command I'll eventually be substituting is that'll do the that'll do command isn't actually a come back to me command it's to stop what you're doing come here to be reassigned whether it's leave the sheep to go back and have another go on the sheep leave the sheep to finish we're going back to the kennels or the vehicle 
um, or just stop doing that and come this way when I'm um, a little bit older I'll have a much more definite command which will be here which means come to me directly to me um, no shilly shelling um, and it's a more more deliberate action on their part rather than just the that'll do which means stop doing what you're doing and come back to me for more instructions okay let's see if they'll run off as we go back and just repeat it again and at this age the pups are just nice and eager to stay with you be with you um, so it's not really a chore people who have difficulties um, with their young dogs coming back it's because they've missed out this very valuable stage where the dogs actually want to be with you they want to come back to you um, they're eager they're still that little bit insecure in exploring on their own so um, a, a encouragement to come back to you it is uppermost in their mind uh, leave it a couple more weeks if you start this training when they're about i don't know 20 weeks old or so but that little bit more independent a little bit more self-confident and the chance of them coming back naturally um, is reduced so the sooner you start the sooner you start this um, puppy recall the easier it's going to be and once it's ingrained in the pups well they're just a simple change of direction and they'll be coming with me once it's ingrained in the pups it's there and um, certainly no no distraction recall is a piece of cake when we get to distractions at least you've got a foundation to build on this desire to come back to you which is reinforced with something pleasant um, we'll talk about um, unpleasant consequences of ignoring me a bit later when the pups are ready for that but at the moment it's all positive reinforcement um, for coming back to me um, either naturally when I change direction or when I give them the come back to me sound here we go pop 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 good boy good lads there we go late to the party eh, girls there we go So this is what I will do with them off and on, most walks, just build up and reinforce the desire to be with me, to come back to me and eventually the sounds I use to encourage them will change to commands, uh, but at the moment if they don't come back it really doesn't matter because they're not disobeying a command and um, they're just not responding to an enthusiastic tone and that, that's the difference really. Um, I'm encouraging them to come back at the moment um, and it's their choice they will tend to make the right choice because of the circumstances I put them in um, but it's their choice come back or not once it becomes a command it's uh, the choice is gone they will obey um, one way or another but for now it's their choice bop, 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 bops. one they all make because it's the right choice to make from their perspective so that's the early days of the puppy recall come on then kids let's head back down this hill and just as a negative experience in young life takes an awful lot of overwriting with positive experiences for that to become foremost in the dog's mind and emotions and memory it's exactly the reverse if we've got a lot of positive reinforcement in coming at a young age should we have to correct the dog at a later age um, the slight negative things don't override its initial positive memories um, of the action so we can make sure the dog doesn't ignore us when there's distraction and still retain the same positive quick response to the recall um, as it gets older.